Hello everyone, my name is Loka and welcome to a new game of StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm and apparently my opponent saying hey you again even though I don't really remember him but today we're gonna do a little bit of a live game and obviously I'm going to be playing this one while actually commentating it and obviously since I am like born with like a Y chromosome and all that kind of awesomeness I actually can't really do these kind of things at the same time so I'm going to be commentating and playing at the same time excuse me if I actually fail but let's say hi hi and GLHF and see what's gonna happen. So this is one of the new maps and let's see what race my opponent is. It is a Zerg vs Protoss against a guy named MTX Frosty like we already saw on Alter Zeem Stronghold Tournament Edition. Now, um, it is, it is, it's kind of an awkward map actually. This is one of the maps that got recently added in the new season and obviously it's going to be around for a while but honestly, I've been playing this map a little while. Honestly, it feels kind of terrible, especially in ZVP. Uh, let's go over the map layout really quickly. You have one in-base base right here that you can take pretty much for free. Now the thing with that is that a Protoss player, like my opponent is, can actually quite easily just take this base without really any competition. Like, I'm not gonna really walk up this ramp in the early part of the game, just because, you know, he's, he's likely gonna take this base early on, but if he doesn't, I'm just gonna go... You know, if I, if I decide to open with something like a 10 pool, it's just gonna be super risky for me, because I might just straight up lose. So usually, a Zerg player won't really contest that base um, that the Protoss player will try to take in base. Now, what it does allow him to go for is a really quick two base all-in. Now this map, especially chokes like these, are super hard to defend for a Zerg player, because obviously force fields will basically zone out your units. So, so far, I have to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of this map. Now, obviously... Uh, we can try and do a little bit of a more aggressive opener. Either economically speaking, we could go for like a 3 HP for pool. Because at least that's what I'm thinking. We could go for a 3 HP for pool. Considering this is a 4 player map, that probably isn't the worst thing to do. So, what I'm gonna do is go for a hatch first right here. And I'll follow it up with another hatch. Uh, right on the low ground as well. So, it's gonna be hatch, hatch, pool. Or actually, hatch, hatch, gas pool, I think. Stream on so I can stream cheat? No, no, my stream is off. I'm, I'm currently recording a video, sir. So I'm not gonna really be bothering with that. Um, nope. Stream is off. Okay, looks like we found our opponent. Looks like it's a gateway right there. Is this a cybercore? Yes, it is a cybercore. Gonna send my second overlord the other way around um, to make sure that I get actually a scout off later in the game. So my second overlord is gonna go over there. I'm gonna figure out how many gases my opponent took. Now, I don't really need to worry about anything just yet, because I know for a fact, obviously, he doesn't really have any units that can shoot up for another minute or so. So what I can do for now is basically just be safe. Okay, there's one gas geyser. Uh, right here, one gas geyser up. Yeah, okay, that one is up. Now, what is he gonna do? Is he, is he gonna start something? Doesn't look like he will. Um, and considering this is a gate expand, I don't really need to worry about it too much. Now, I'm kind of lucky that he took that gas first, because it means that I actually just have a much longer time um, to figure out exactly what's gonna happen. And there we go, we see the, do see the second gas. Now, I know I'm putting the emphasis on the gas guys for a lot, but basically what this gas will allow me to do is actually figure out what kind of a build my opponent is going for. If he stays on one gas only, it's going to be incredibly risky for me uh, to do much of anything. Because, you know, obviously it's going to cost him quite a bit um, to, you know, to have that gas guys up. If he doesn't have that gas up and he's only on one gas off of two bases, because we can kind of assume this base is up, it is only really one possibility and that would be um, like a four gate off of two bases or maybe even more aggressive than that. So usually second gas is a good sign because it means that I can make drones for now. Gonna make one set of Zerglings though just for scouting purposes. As you can see right there, I started a whole bunch of queens. Um, I'm gonna go back and droning. Also, I mined 100 gas out of these gas guys right now and I started my metabolic boost upgrade, which is obviously Zergling speed. And right before that one finishes, I'm actually going to start more and more um, Zerglings. But for now, I'm good. We go first inject. Gonna set my Zerglings across the map to figure out what's going on. Make another Overlord. Come on, Queen. There we go. And then one final Queen that will spawn here shortly. There we go. Okay, okay. Everything, everything so far so good. Need to kind of figure out though what my opponent is up to because I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit dark right now. I don't really know what's up. Let's see what's happening up this ramp. Looks like there's a sentry out already. Okay, that's quite a little bit of energy. So he built that one sort of early. So it seems to me that we don't really need to worry about too, too much. Oh. Gonna make a bunch of Zerglings right now just um, for safety purposes. Gonna spread one creep tumor that way. I'm gonna keep another inject up right there and see what I can do. Where are you going, Drone? Drone, come back. Now I'm gonna go back into Drone. I don't really need to worry about it too, too much. Um, you guys go in there. 
gonna start another gas guys and I'm gonna start a roach one as well as well as oh, what's that another sentry hmm interesting as well as another um, a lair right now so I'm gonna figuring out what to do with the lair likely gonna go for a double upgrades so let's get the um, let's get the Evo chambers up and obviously I'm gonna need to make a few either hydrolisk or roaches we can sort of figure out what we want now didn't manage to get in there don't really need to worry about it too too much um, but for now he definitely took the natural like there's really no other option gonna just in case gonna get a uh, spark roll up right now in all my bases because I'm not really completely sure what my opponent's up to but I should be in a pretty solid position managed to connect both of my bases and um, I, sh I should I should have a pretty good time right now what I'm gonna do is start my um, armor upgrade right there and I'm gonna start my attack upgrade as soon as I can and I'm obviously also starting more gases in the other bases right now just to be you know just to make whatever I want I'm likely gonna go for hydrolisk though I feel like hydrolisk opposed to roaches are very very strong right now and I'm mostly gonna get the roach worn for safety purposes right now so here we go gonna start the plus one attack I'm gonna start a hydra then just the more and more drones basically just trying to get my max saturation on drones going as soon as I can now Usually a Protoss player will take his third base around the 9 to 9.5 minute mark. If he doesn't, that means I'm gonna make non-stop units. So I'm gonna start Roach production or a Roach speed already because it's 9 minutes right now. And obviously we don't see a third base quite yet, which likely indicates that he's gonna go for some sort of two base all-in. And I'm, should be, yep, there we go. Should be max saturated right now. Which means I'm gonna go at Hydra speed as well and I'm gonna try and make as many units as I possibly can right now. So there we go, I have a bigger economy right now. Now it is important to realize what does a bigger economy mean? Well, it certainly means that I will be able to make more stuff the longer this game goes on. And that is crucial to realize right now. If I actually have more income, oh, which I definitely have. Oh, wait, hold it up, hold it up. Oh God, don't you dare do that. Don't you dare do that. Oh no, oh no. Oh, that's just mean. He actually just saved up a bunch of uh, a bunch of these units right now, right before I really got my production going. So it does look like I'm actually gonna have a little bit of a problem right now. Oh, might be able to get picked off one right there, actually. Yep, we'll manage to pick off one. We'll have to be a little bit careful right now. He invested quite a little bit into this, so just in case, I'm gonna get this base going, because I don't think he will ever be able to take that out. There we go. We'll be able to likely take out another one right there. Now, keep in mind, those units are really expensive, so he needs to kind of invest into this quite a little bit. Oh, it would be sweet though to not lose all my shit. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna try and take out another one. He did manage to do so. But he actually decided to go after. Oh god, we are actually kind of, kind of in a lot of trouble right now. Oh, such a cheeky little build. Oh! Let's try and see how much damage I can do. Retaking this base as well. I'm gonna make a sport collar right next to it. Oh, we'll be able to get the mothership core as well. Okay. Okay, so not the worst. Not the worst. It could have gone a lot worse, and we actually managed to get all the stuff, uh, which is quite nice. He actually has found that one as well. Wow, how did he manage to find that? Really? Really? Okay, gonna start another queen here. You guys, come over here. Okay, okay. Okay, important right now to just make sure we don't lose all our random stuff. Which might sound very obvious, but we can't just lose our units. So what I'm gonna do is just try and transfuse that thing a little bit. And make sure I target fire the um, the um, Void Rays right now. The Void Rays are obviously the most expensive units and also the units that can shoot up. So those are the ones that we really need to worry about. Gonna move over a few drones once more. There we go, got another one. Okay, nice. My queen should be able to handle it right here. Oh, we'll be able to target fire that down. Should have a transfuse. There we go. Bam, got another one down, lovely. 
Okay, so that was a two base all-in right there. He doesn't have anything left. Pretty much. Like, this was, this was where he put basically all his money on. Which is nice. Gonna make sure... Oh, actually, he's making a lot more stuff. He's having a ground army right now as well. Oh god, he has a lot of units right now. Come on. Gotta try and make a few roaches. Oh! Oh! This is all in though. As long as I manage to stop this, I will be fine. Well, chat can't get caught by force fields. There we go. Gotta try and maximize the damage I can do right here. God, he's having a lot of stuff out right now though, which is annoying. I need to watch out that I don't get caught by Zealots either. Zealots are very, very annoying at this sort of thing. As long as I manage to just not get caught. Oh, I make sure I attack with all my units and just keep on going, keep on going. There we go. It does look like I have, I have enough stuff and um, I should be able to actually clean this up right now. Go to make sure I send these to a new base because I have too much in this base. Also gonna send over a few to my newly acquired fifth, and I'm gonna make or my fourth water, and I'm gonna start moving across the map. Try and see what I can do. Actually gonna drone up behind this as well, because I really don't need to risk it so much. I have a pretty solid advantage right now. Gonna make a sport follow right there too. Because obviously he's likely gonna be able to force field, yep. Which is just annoying. And what I'm gonna do is actually get the um, burrow upgrade for the roaches and as well as burrow for all my units. Make sure I get drones going on my bases once more. And um, it looks like we actually managed to defend right there, but just barely. That was super, super close. I do have plus two, plus two finished up right now. Let's check the gas guys, see if these are all good. Yep, they are. And make sure we got everything that we need. There we go, max saturation of that base going as well. Gonna start a spire. A few more drones for in the main. Few more for in this base. I actually need to get a hotkey on that one. No, no, actually, no. we have one base not hotkey. Or oh, this one, because it obviously died. And now I'm gonna make no sub unit. Okay, okay, so we managed to stabilize right there, just barely. Uh, good micro on my side actually allowed me to just barely stay ahead. He actually missed this more force fields a little bit, which um, gave me a lot of extra time, which is sweet. Now, as you can see, he is decided to go for a bunch of Colossus right now. These were definitely real ones, because he actually uh, managed to kill a bunch of stuff with them. So what I'm going to do is just make a whole lot of roaches and wait for my Spire to finish up. I don't really need to worry about anything. Just need to make sure, though. Oh, that's like I'm actually going to go all in with this. Okay. What I was going to say is actually we do need to make sure we know exactly what is going on. And I might need to go for a little bit of a flank, because else we just lose to this push. Gonna make sure I need to split up my forces as well. I do have my Roach Burrow done, which is obviously a really strong upgrade nowadays. So here we go. I set up a big, big flank. Okay. Friends fuses. Try and see how much I can do. Oh, can't really burrow right now. Because his force fields will run out eventually anyway. And obviously they are still shooting a lot, so here we go, managed to clean up that army near perfectly, lost a bunch of queens, but that was definitely worth it, and now I'm gonna go for the counter attack, that should have been it. He actually, oh, tell me how you can build so many when you lost so many. I droned, oh, I droned up super greedy early game. Which just allowed me to have a much bigger eco. Even after killing my third base, he was actually still behind in economy, and um... He decided to rage quit. So I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Hopefully this game taught you a little bit. And yeah, I'll see you again. So I Bye. figured, why not do a two-base timing push with Marines and Marauders? So today we're going to have a look at a super standard basic timing attack. It's going to be a combat shield, stim pack, concussive shell timing push off of two bases. This push will be especially effective for...